Hi everyone, it's Coach Kim here. I hope everyone is keeping safe and well. And just want to say that I really miss taking you all, I miss taking my classes and I really miss the crack. But hopefully this all passes soon and we'll get back to be a bit of normality. So at Wisco we've decided to do be 30 minute uh, videos for you all. So today I'm going to do some Pilates for you. So Pilates is all about strengthening your body, strengthening your mind, getting the best out of your body, improving your overall flexibility, coordination, strength, endurance. The benefits are endless. Okay, so hope you can join in and just relax for the next 30 minutes because I think we all need just to relax in this present time. So what we're going to do is just get into our perfect posture alignment and it's the safest position for your body to be in not just for Pilates but just for daily life. So you want your feet about hip width apart and then as you move up nice soft knees okay so just relax and then we want to take a big shoulder roll up on top to reset your posture so your chest is open and lifted and then just thinking about your core Imagine you're putting on tight trousers, so it's as if you're just pulling your belly button in ever so slightly to your spine. Not too much, because if you pull it in too much, it's hard to breathe through, it's hard to keep it there. So just ever so slightly pull it in that little bit tighter, because that is where your tummy muscles should be, that little bit tighter, because it is an area we relax a wee bit too much. And then we want to think about our neutral spine, so it's the safest position for your back to be in, okay? So if you just think about doing some pelvic tilts, okay? So forward, pelvic tilt forward, pelvic tilt back, and you're just isolating the movement here to your pelvis. And you wanna just find like your midway point, somewhere in the middle that just feels comfortable, it's not too much forward, not too much back. And then if you also think about squeezing your glutes, your butt cheeks, that actually helps shift your pelvis, tucking your tailbone under, and then that's gonna flatten your back and give you the added bonus of a flatter tummy as well. So taking all that pressure off your back, we're in a nice safe position to start, okay, everyone? And we don't want you to stand really stiff, okay? I want you to relax through it as well. So knees are soft, tummy tight, pelvic tilt and our neutral spine in check, shoulders down and relax. And let's take a big, deep breath in through your nose, and just relaxing out through your mouth. And as you breathe in everyone, just start to breathe in relaxation and just breathe out any tension, stress you might have. And as you breathe in, think about really filling up your lungs and letting your breath get that little bit deeper right round the sides as well. Because if you think about it, we only use about 50% of our lungs as we breathe normally, okay? So we want to take longer, deeper, slower breaths, okay? So big deep breath in and just breathe and out. So if you're blowing up a big balloon. So what we're going to do is just to warm up and mobilize all our joints, okay? Get them mobilized, ready for action. So just start with your neck and we'll work our way down. You have to be careful with your neck, any aches, pains, discomfort, maybe forget about these ones. But what we're gonna do is just look to the side, make sure those knees are soft, tummy tight, big deep breath in. And a lovely chin roll as we breathe out. And round the other side, big deep breath in. And breathe and out as we go down and round. So no rush. We lead such fast paced lives. We just want to take our time as we go through all our different movements and stretches. And just one more. And releases all the stiffness, tension at the back of your neck. And remember, that's where it all builds up. If you're under any amount of stress, it all seems to just gather here. So it's important to release it. Don't let it build up, because then that's when the aches and pains creep in and then that's when we get injuries as well. So just keep moving all our joints, keep mobilized everyone. So let's move on to our lovely big shoulders. We're gonna take a big deep breath in, breathe and out and hitting the ceiling here. And then a big deep breath in, and breathe and out as you release. Trying to keep your arm in as close as you can to your head here. 
just keep facing forward. We're trying not to move anywhere just yet. Just your arm, your shoulder moving here. And then what about both arms together? Big deep breath in and breathe out. Just enjoy that lovely stretch. A great way to reset your posture, getting your shoulders back in line where they're meant to be. Because as we get a bit tired and lazy throughout the day, our shoulders slowly start to creep forward. But we don't want that, okay? You look much better when you keep your shoulders back in line. So two more big ones, big deep breath in. Breathing out in the release. Just watching your knees have a locked out already. And still keeping that tummy pulled in nice and tight. And then we're just gonna warm up and prep the largest joint in your body, your spine. So let's do our lovely side bends. So breathe in out as you come down, big deep breath in as you lift up. And again, breathe in out. So no rush, just enjoy the stretch, enjoy the movement. And always remember, if you can slow your breathing down, then you can slow the movement down. So obviously feeling that nice stretch down your sides, but we're also mobilizing our spine here sideways. Getting rid of any tension, stiffness that might be there. And we'll do two more. And relax. And as we're still engaging our core, always thinking about pulling it in that little bit tighter, also want to think about the lower part of your core, your pelvic floor, and that's an area that a lot of us never really engage or think about much. And it's really important, okay? It supports us down below when we need it to. If we cough, we sneeze, we need our pelvic floor to support us, okay? So just as if you're stopping a pee, okay, mid-flow, just give that muscle down there a little bit of a squeeze, lifting it up. And it is part of your core, so pull your tummy in and a wee lift of that. And that's your powerhouse muscles working together. You will feel so much stronger if you keep engaging those, okay? So just whenever you think, okay, about it, try and engage, squeeze your pelvic floor. Every little bit helps. We're trying to keep that muscle active, so as I said, so it supports you throughout the day. So next up, so we've done our side flexion for our spine. We're going to do some lovely rotations for it. So just arms up making sure your hip bones stay facing forward with this one and we're going to breathe out as we rotate breathing in as we come back so breathing out rotate breathing in as we come back and just watch with this one sometimes our knees locked out puts an awful lot of pressure on your knees so try and keep them soft everyone just watch because the rest of your body wants to rotate round with you try not to okay just isolate your spine here and just one more I'll do and relax and another big lovely shoulder roll to reset so moving down we're going to open up and mobilize those hips and I'm sure like myself okay you've been sitting about watching TV a lot okay because we're on lockdown it really does tighten your hips, okay? So we need to keep them open, keep them mobilized, okay? So it's like opening up the gates. So big tight hip flexors, okay? Hopefully not, but for me I do. So standing tall, a bit of balance and required for this one, okay? So anything working on balance is actually working your core, your deep, deep stabilizers, deep, deep in your core. So gonna hold them in nice and tight. And we're just gonna lift your leg up, big deep breath in, and then open up as wide as you can so switch it on those stabilizers pulling them in tight but opening up those hips enjoying that lovely stretch and we're abducting our leg here bring it out to the side because if you think about all your daily activities a lot of them just mostly involve you moving and working your hips okay one direction to the front here okay as you walk as you climb stairs we don't do much abduction of the legs and that's why our hips get tight so this is a nice wee one if you need to okay if you have balance issues you can just hold on to a wall as you do these wee ones as well 
And always remember you work to your level, you listen to your body, do what you can. If you need to stop at any stage, you go for it, okay? So what we're gonna do now is just get a bit more warmth into these big muscle groups in our legs, hips and glutes, okay? We're gonna do some lovely squats. So our feet, we're gonna take them just maybe a wee bit wider, shoulder width apart. As tall as you can be, just sip it up. Lovely and tight, tummy and pelvic floor lifted. And let's imagine you have a chair behind you, well I do. And you're gonna sit down on it. And just come up with soft knees, always on top. So breathe it out as we come down, and big deep breath in as we come up. Each time you come up, everyone, I want you to start to think about engaging your glutes. We're trying to activate these big muscle groups. Because if you have strong glutes, you're gonna have a stronger back, you're gonna have stronger hips. And a lot of people are unaware that their back problems is probably because they have dead butt syndrome. It's an actual thing, okay? Just weak, inactive glutes, okay? So you wanna try and engage them so much more. Even in the house, doing all your daily tasks, try and use them, give them a squeeze as much as you can. So let's do two more. And relax. So hopefully you're getting a little bit warmer, we're involving more muscle groups. So getting the heart rate up a little bit, feeling warmer. So still stay with our legs around, we're gonna do some lunges now. We're gonna split our stance here. So what we want is our back foot, we wanna tuck our toes under and our heel points and up the way. It's gonna keep us balanced as opposed to having it down here. Nice and tall, zip it up. We still wanna be in that nice neutral position, okay? So don't have your pelvis tilted forward as you do these ones. And we're just going from north to south. So breathing out, big deep breath in as you lift, lift up. So north to south. So keep going with those. And ideally, you're looking to right angles with those legs. And obviously these are for your legs, make them stronger, build up endurance. But it's just to get a bit more warmth in your legs, hips and glutes. Give it a wee shake out, and let's do the other side. So as tall as you can be, chest lifted, shoulders back and down, tummy tight, pelvic floor lifted, neutral spine. So again, no rush. If you can slow your breathing down, slow the movement. those and relax hopefully feeling that a little bit more here in those legs big big shoulder roll take a drink if you need it because I need it okay everyone so now we're going to move our spine in forward flexion okay there's four main directions that your spine is able to move in okay it allows us to do all our daily activities. So we will be working them in this session, okay? The first movement, as I said, forward flexion, it's a roll down, okay? So what we're gonna do is just go to the sides of your mat, standing tall, standing in a good posture, lengthening your spine. I always say, imagine you're like a puppet on a string, being lifted up tall, everyone. Be tall, be proud. And we're gonna take a big, deep breath in through your nose, and start to roll down your spine, one bone at a time. As we breathe out, and just enjoy the release, the stretch in the back of your body. Just keep breathing in and out as so slow as you can. Enjoy the stretch in the backs of your legs and your glutes, your lower back. And then when you're ready to lift up, big deep breath in slowly roll it out. Breathe it out. So when we get to our pelvis, squeeze in those glutes, help you get that neutral spine. As we lift up, 
then roll up the rest of your spine. And again, big deep breath in. Breathe them out as you slowly roll down your spine, one bone at a time. Imagine your spine like a lovely string of pearls. And just roll one pearl down at a time. here, squeeze your glutes, and then imagine your vertebrae like little building blocks, stacking them up, one on top of the other, and your head's the last to lift. So we'll do another one of those, and then in my classes I always like to add in a little bit of a challenge after this next one. But if the challenge, this next little bit, isn't for you, then you just continue with those ones. The roll down and the roll up. So, so good, especially if you've been sitting for a long time, just to release all that stress, tension that builds up on your lower back. Stretch out those glutes and the backs of your legs. They get really tight here if you've been sitting quite a long time. So let's add in a bit more of a challenge. If it's not for you, as I said, do the roll down and the roll ups. And I will give an alternative to this sweep on an easier option if you need it. So we're rolling down, big deep breath in at the bottom, and then we're gonna walk out into a high plank. So nice straight line here, everybody. Pulling your tummy in tight, hands under your shoulders, and try not to put too much weight on your arms. Try and bring it back into the center of your body here. So tummy tight, just holding it there for a few seconds. If you need to drop to your knees, go for it. And if that walk out, from this position is a bit too much. You can bend your legs from here and walk yourselves out. So really good to improve your core strength here, everyone. So pull your tummy tight. And when you're ready, walking it back and rolling yourselves back up again. So we're gonna do two more of those and just add in a little bit. But if the little bits that I'll be adding a bit too much for you at this stage, then just do the hold, okay? Just hold the plank out there. So rolling down again, breathe through it. Walking out. So a nice straight line. And we're gonna tap our legs out as wide as you can. Two more of those, have limited space here, and then walk it back. And a big, big roll. And then this time, our last one. So we want to get down into a low plank, pushing up into high plank. Coming down with the other arm, push it up with the other arm. If you need to, drop down onto your knees. Two more of those. that's our lovely roll down okay it's a bit of forward flexion for your spine so in order to balance this direction out we need to move our spine the other way okay so we need to do some back extensions so we're going to lie down on our mat tonight so we're going to be staying down on our mat for the next few bit tonight okay so with the next one we're just going to safely come down onto your knees and then just resting down onto your tummy when you're ready so these are back extensions to balance out those lovely standing forward flexions. So on our tummy, okay, we still want to engage our core. Okay, so just as we were pulling it in, as we were standing up, we still want to pull our belly button up off the mat. And then we want to engage our glutes as well. Keep everything active and strong. Hands under your shoulders, elbows in tight, big deep breath in at the bottom. And slowly breathing out as we lift up 
and extend your spine. Keep those glutes active, big deep breath in on top. Breathe in out as you slowly release. Big deep breath in at the bottom. Breathe in out as we lift up. Big deep breath in on top. Breathe in out as we release. So no rush. And do pause for that breath in. We usually tend to rush that part of our breathing. Take your time. Supply your body with lots of oxygen. So keep squeezing your glutes on top. Okay, so they're back extensions. So you're really feeling that in your lower back, your lumbar vertebrae. So I want to try and maintain the flexibility there and just obviously get those glutes involved. But it's good to keep your body flexible in another, in another direction. So if you think about it, we don't do much of this direction throughout the day. We do a lot of standing forward flexions, maybe picking something up, but we don't do much of this okay, extension of the spine. So it's important to keep your spine flexible, strong in all these different directions, especially this one. Even at the end of the day, get down, balance out all your daily activities with about 10 to 15 of these. Really does make the difference. So we're gonna roll over now onto your side. Now have this wee block here, wee Pilates yoga block. Don't worry if you don't have one, you can improvise maybe with a cushion, but you don't have to use it. Some people like using it, it's great to keep your neck in line with the rest of your spine as you lie on your side, or you have the option of resting on your arm. So just see what's comfortable for you here. Okay, so we're in a new position on our side now, okay? So as we look down to your feet, I wanna see a nice straight line. Feet stacked, knees, especially those hips, one on top of the other. Okay, this area has a tendency to either roll forward or back. If you keep them stacked, it will actually start to engage your core muscles because they're standing nice and tight, preventing you, as I said, rocking forward and back. So they're already engaged, but we can put them in that little bit tighter. How about squeezing those glutes? Take your time, relax up here, everyone. Let's take a big deep breath in to prepare. And what we're going to do is lift our legs up and down, starting to work your outer thighs a bit more. Still opening up your hips, great for strengthening your pelvis. And then also working, engaging those stabilizers. If you need to, put your hands in the front for a bit of support. So breathe in out like as we bring our leg up and breathe in as we release that down. And just watch sometimes we try to go up a little bit too high the hips rock back. We don't want that to keep them stacked. Still keeping your tummy tight, glutes engaged. And to make it that little bit more challenging, you can take away that supporting hand. Don't feel you have to though. If you need it there, keep it there. And if you're still having balance issues, what you can actually do is bend that bottom leg. Just creates a bigger base there for you. It might help things. Two more of those. And relax. Just give that a nice wee rub. And then next up, we're gonna do the oyster or the clam. So what we're gonna do, stack our feet one on top of the other. And ideally, we want our feet in line with our back. Sometimes it's good just to measure yourselves up against the back, compare the edge of the mat. Get your feet and back in that line here. And then what we're going to do is just the oyster and the clams. Just think of like an oyster shell opening up, okay? So hips are still stacked. Tell me, and really important that you engage your glutes. So give them a squeeze. Just have a look. When you squeeze your glutes, the shift in your pelvis into that nice safe position. 
So keep your feet touching as you open up your legs here. So as always, big deep breath in to prepare. And breathe and as you open up just a little bit, feet are still touching. And really set down as you breathe in. So where you want to be feeling this is your outer thighs and your glutes. If you start to feel it in your lower back or the backs of your legs, your hamstrings, it just means you're not connecting or squeezing your glutes enough. So really do keep here active, everyone. Good, add a little bit more resistance if you need to. So as your leg opens up, you can just gently press down on it. Add a little bit more tension. So I'm really feeling that in my glutes right now. And just one more will do, everyone. And relax, give that a nice wee rub. If you have more time, you could do another set, okay? the leg raises up and down and another set of the oysters okay but just want to give you a wee bit of variety different ideas you could be doing yourselves if you have more time so next up then okay if you don't have the block remember you have a cushion but I want you on it now what we're going to do is give here a little rest you can bend your legs here and these are called chest openers probably one of my favorite exercises in Pilates so it's a chest opener so obviously work on your chest great for your shoulders as well Remember, this is where we carry all our stress and tension. So let's release it, disperse it. So I might move down the mat a little bit more, give myself more room. Okay, so what we're gonna do is just bring your arms out in line with your shoulders. Hips are always stacked, and you can still keep those glutes active. And all we're gonna do, okay, head to the front of the block, because we're gonna be moving your head, turning around, open up to the back, follow that hand, breathe out, and big deep breath in as you follow that hand coming back and if you need an extra breath in there you go for it and just be careful your hips they want to rock back with you try to keep them pushed forward at the same time and you want to get an even better stretch up here in your upper body so turn your head round on the block keeping your neck in line with the rest of your spine Oh, feels good. And then to develop that stretch, how about the next one? If you keep it at the back and then just start to sweep your arm up and overhead, on a lovely big semicircle up here, and then bringing that back, big deep breath in. And breathe, and like pushing those hips forward, keeping your tummy tight, squeezing those glutes. Open up that chest, enjoy that lovely stretch as well in your shoulders, two more of those. And if you want, some people like just to hold the stretch there a little bit longer, but if you're gonna hold the stretch, make sure you're still breathing through it. instant relief for any stress tension in your upper body it's a really good one everyone well done okay so now we're going to move on to our back for a few other wee exercises here okay so on your back we always still need to think about our neutral spine and a safe position for your back so what we want okay we do have that natural curve here in your lower back if you had anything like me you could probably slide a foot arm under maybe a hand okay but we want to fill in that gap a little bit and just press down a little bit, okay? So you maybe get a few fingers underneath. If you have any pain pressing down, especially if you suffer from sciatica, try not to press down too hard. And if you have any pain whatsoever, maybe lying on your back is just not for you at this stage, especially, as I said, if you have sciatica. So just a few fingers, gap there. And this first exercise I always like to do on our back here because it's a great warm up for your tummy, great to activate, okay, your abdominal wall here, okay, your rectus abdominal muscle. 
So what we're gonna do is just lift your head up, stack it on your shoulders. If you have your head away back here, put your neck under an awful lot of strain. We want it here. Arms are out to the side. We're gonna pump our arms. Imagine under your hands like a spring, okay? A pump, and we're pumping up and down on it. So it's called the 100, because we're pumping 100 times, okay? So what we want to do, maintain that natural curve here. Pull your belly button down towards your spine. Always engage in your pelvic floor. And let's pump a hundred times. So you want to breathe in five pumps, breathe in out five pumps. And sometimes it helps if you breathe in five pumps, pump and down, and then you can flip your hands over just so you can keep check of how many pumps you're doing each time as you breathe in and out. And you're just counting your shelves, keep pumping up to a hundred. So just count your shelves up and down. Big deep breath in as you breathe, or as you pump, breathe in through your nose and breathe in out through your mouth every last drop. So keep going, keep pulling your belly button down towards the mat. Just watch your back, is it lifting up anymore? Keeping it down, keep pumping, keep pumping, keep using your pelvic floor muscle. And if you pump really hard, really strong, and push your hands away from your shoulders more, you might find an added bonus, feeling it in the backs of your triceps, that's a good one. And then just slowly rest your head down and relax. Some people with that one do complain that their neck's just too sore, they just can't handle it because your neck is really supporting this big heavy weight to your head. If it's too much, just keep your head down and pump away, pump extra hard, extra strong. You can also lift a leg up if you need to. But yeah, if you've any pain, don't suffer through it, okay? Just try and adapt and just drop your head down if you need to. So with the next one, okay? Gonna bring your arms out to the side. My hand is under the sofa here. God knows what I'm feeling. Okay, so what we want is our feet together. Arms out in line with your shoulders or just hands slightly lower. And we're just gonna drop our legs to the side. So keep your feet, knees zipped together. So as you drop, breathe out. And then as you bring back to center, breathe it in. So as you drop to the side, breathe out. Breathe in as you come up. So once your shoulder on the opposite side starts to lift up, that's as far as you go. So even if you can just get to here, and your shoulder's lifting, that's as far as you go. So if you can keep it down, get all the way down, go for it. So obviously you're feeling that nice bit of rotation here in your torso, your spine, but we're also targeting the deepest layer of your core muscles, your transverse abdominal muscles, and they act like your own internal corset, really holding you up nice and tight in the middle here, making you feel so strong. So it's important to try and target those. If you feel a little bit stronger, okay, just watch your back as it lifts and keep it down a few fingers. You wanna lift one leg up at a time. Feet, knees zip together, and this is called tabletop, okay? So feet straight out from your knees, knees above your hips. Arms are out, and the same principle, just drop in your legs down to the side. Big deep breath in. And it's another good one if you want to hold it for a little bit longer before you release, go for it. Two more of those. sit up okay we've been on our back quite a while so if you're able to just going to straighten out our legs arms to the back if you have the room and we're just going to slowly start to roll up off the mat one bone at a time as if you're peeling yourself up off the mat put your tummy tight get yourselves up and we're sitting up nice and tall here and then from here, we're just going to do a lovely hamstring stretch, an area that I find myself really tight. So out we go, just hold that lovely stretch here. Breathe through it, try and keep your legs straight. And release. We're going to do that one more time. So out we go, hold it there. And slowly release. 
nice big shoulder on the reset. So next up everyone, I'm just going to turn around and we're going to sit up as tall as we can. So remember at the start I was talking about there are four main directions to work your spine, keep it strong, healthy, flexible in. Okay, so we've already done two. We've done the standing, forward flexion, the lying down, back extension. So now these next two ones, okay? It's gonna work your spine sideways. That's side flexion and then rotation of your spine. So if you're able to, okay, we're gonna sit like this, just crisscross your legs, keep it nice and balanced in the center. But this won't suit everyone, okay? If it's too uncomfortable on your legs, your knees, you can pop your legs out, okay, in front. Or you can have your feet together, drop your knees to the side, okay? Just wanna make sure you're sitting on those sit bones, okay, I will be feel. If it's hard to get on top of them, sometimes it's good to lift the fleshy part of your bum, okay? And lift up. But, some people still find it hard to get that lower back, really lift it up in that, the lower part of your back, okay? Lengthened because we don't want any compression of your vertebrae, okay? Imagine you're trying to get a lovely gap in between each of your vertebrae. So if you're still finding it hard, remember that cushion or block, you can sit on top of it, and that allows your hips to open up more, and it allows you more room to open up, okay? So if you do need to prop yourself up on something, go for it. Okay, so let's work your spine sideways. This is another favorite of mine. So tummy in tight, pelvic floor lift, it up, draw it up, and just lift your arm up. Big deep breath in here, and over we go. Let's breathe out. Big deep breath in as you come up, and the other arm up and over. Breathe out. So remember the breathing. If you can slow your breathing down slow the movement time and if it feels good to hold it at the side just a little bit longer you go for it but do make sure you're still breathing through it so feeling the lovely stretch down your sides but also keeping your spine remember flexible side to side here And most people will be found in one side, just a little bit tighter than another than the other side, okay? And that's just years maybe of bad posture, sitting with your legs crossed, okay? That can actually add to the tightness in one side. So if you're finding one side a bit tighter, maybe just hold it a bit longer, maybe do more repetitions for that tighter side, and you'll feel so much better for it. Big, big shoulder roll there, everyone. So that's side flexion. Remember, if it's getting too much for your knees, release your legs out. So next up, we're gonna rotate our spine, okay? And our spine allows us, remember, to move in all these different directions. But we never really think about it in these technical terms, rotation. Okay, so we're gonna do some lovely bow and arrow arms. So arms are out in front, in line with your shoulders. Lengthen your spine, put your tummy tight. Lifting up that pelvic floor, let's take a big deep breath in as you draw that arm in and then you're going to release it around the back, breathing out, big deep breath in and breathing out as you come back. So just watch your shoulders aren't creeping up, keep them down nice and relaxed, breathing in, breathing out as you release, breathe in when you get there, breathe out as you come back. So no rush. Don't be stressing about the breathing. Sometimes that puts a lot of people off. As long as you have a nice natural breath, that's good enough for me. Just don't be holding in your breath. I'm turning blue on me. So take your time. Nice bit of rotation. We're trying to maintain our flexibility. We're trying to improve on it. Remember, if you don't use it, you will lose it. So maintain what you have got, okay? Keep moving, keep things nice and flexible. Keep your joints lubricated. Remember, as we move our joints, there's a lovely fluid, just like water, secreted into the joints to lubricate it. So that's what we want. We don't want to be getting stiff, okay? We want to keep everything relaxed, nice and mobile. So one more thing, we're going to do a nice stretch for the inside of your legs here, okay? So we're going to get our feet together and just draw them in nice and close to you. 
and then just drop your knees as low as you can get them. So feel a lovely stretch right inside here. So just hold it, breathe through it. In my classes, I always like to say to give your feet a nice, well-deserved massage. Okay, so just dig those strong thumbs into the soles of your feet and find any little areas of tension. But what we're also doing here is stimulating all the connective tissue down there. Okay, we need to keep it hydrated, we need to keep drinking water. But we need to keep stimulating the muscle, okay? Massage it. And it's just a good way to release any stiffness, tension there. Okay, right up to your heels as well. If you felt that stretch ease off, how about coming forward a little bit more? Just develop it. And if you can get all the way down, go for it. And just slowly release. And again, always reset. Okay, so next up, we're gonna lie down on our mats and work the other side, okay, to balance things out. So if you need your block like before, go for it or a cushion, or just rest on your arm. Okay, so get as comfortable as you can. That's our core engaged already, because it's a less surface area on the mat. Hips are stacked, tummy in. Hands at the front or hands up here for a little bit more of a challenge. And any balance issues, if you're still feeling a little bit unsteady, remember you can bend that bottom leg. Just watch, sometimes you get too high and the hips rock back so they're out of alignment and we're not going to be targeting the areas we want to enough. So keep pulling your tummy in, keep squeezing your glutes and we'll do two more of those. Well done, let me rub pat or a thump if you need it and then let's bend our legs with the next one okay so we want our feet stacked we want our feet in line with our back here and just always have a wee feel of what your hips are doing remember we don't want to open the back or rock back too much so just the oyster clam we're just opening up remember squeeze those glutes engage them as we open up breathe out that's where you want to feel it all here not the backs of your legs not your lower back and breathe in an important area we want to keep strong our hips our pelvis here Add that extra resistance, just a gentle press down. Oh, you can feel that one. And relax, give it a nice wee rub. But I said, if you have more time, maybe do another set of the leg raises, another set of the oyster or the wee clams, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so next up, we're nearly there. We're going to roll over onto your mat. And we're just going to hold another plank to finish off. I always like to finish off with these ones. It's a nice full body challenge. Okay, so working top, middle and bottom. And the women always love it because they know what's near the end of the class. And so what we're gonna do, elbows under your shoulders, hands apart. We don't want that added extra pressure here. You don't need it. So release, relax your arms. Pull your tummy up off the mat. So engage your core because it needs to support your back when we're in this position. Squeeze your glutes, get them involved. So you can do these ones from your toes or from your knees. So just hold it there, everyone. Breathe through it. We're gonna try 20 seconds, so 10 seconds gone. Drop to your knees if you need to. Last few seconds, four, three, two, and slowly release. Stretch, sit right back into your heels here. Just walking your fingers out a little bit more. Enjoy the lovely stretch down your back. Just 
slowly lift ourselves up. Okay, we're gonna take our time, we're gonna walk. slowly roll ourselves up. We'll get to your pelvis, remember, squeeze your glutes, stacking up your vertebrae. Heads the last to lift. Big, big shoulder roll. Okay, everyone, well done, we're nearly there. So big deep breath in. Breathe out as we come down. Big deep breath in. Two more of those. And relax. Nice big roll. And then just finish in with our neck, which always tension, as I said, builds up here. Just make sure your head's not forward, it's right back in line with the rest of your spine. And you're just trying to drop your ear down to your shoulder as low as you can get it. Down the other way. Chin to chest. And up. Big, big shoulder rolls to finish. So hopefully we'll all feel a wee bit more loosened up after that. And just great to take our mind off things at the minute. And I'll be posting more wee videos throughout the weeks and making things a wee bit more challenging, adding little bits of equipment as well. So well done everyone, give yourselves a big clap, Woo! and I'll see you again soon. Thanks, bye, stay safe.